24 websites in 24 hours. Sponsored by Hostinger. Let's go. Now, a disclaimer, some of these ideas are really dumb. But some are awesome, like this one. Now, for this, we're gonna do something kind of crazy and fun. A little bit of a contest. On every website we build will be a secret code hidden somewhere on the page. And you'll need those 23 secret codes to access the final website, website 24. The first three people to do that will win a $500 Amazon gift card. And by the way, if you're not one of the first three, we'll still have something cool for you. Hey, real quick disclaimer. All these websites we made were made very quickly and they're not exactly secure. So don't do things like exposing your API keys. Now they are secure now because we hacked our websites in the next video. Anyways, just had to say that. Right now I'm building a website I've always wanted to build. My John Hammond fan website. At a website. <laughs> Unleash the power of John Hammond. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Trusted by many. 15. Oh, it's baby John Hammond. I've always wanted to create a Pomodoro website. I'll do empty PHP HTML website. I'll call it Network Chuck Pomodoro. Pomodoro is how I work and study and get anything done. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Focus, work, don't do anything else. When it's done, take a break, get distracted. Maybe five minutes, but then when you set the timer again, 30 more minutes, focus, no one can bother you. Doing this is a game changer and I want a Pomodoro timer website. With a little bit of help from AI, I got this website going. Let's check it out. <laughs> yes, look at this. Put your timer in. I'm going to do, uh, let's just do two minutes. Boom. And the coffee starts to drip out of the, or the cup starts to, you know, hourglass stuff. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going to drink along with it. Feel free to use this whenever you want. One of my favorite things to do is to read your comments. Now, most of them are so helpful and encouraging. You guys are awesome. Some are like, why did you say that? <laughs> I want to create a website that will go out to YouTube, select a random comment from any one of my YouTube videos, and display that for the day. First, I need data from YouTube. But how do I get that? An API, an application programming interface. And this is amazing. So YouTube will actually create what's called an API endpoint, essentially a URL. So I, I don't know what it is offhand, but it might be api.youtube.com forward slash videos. And my website can interact with this API endpoint, asking it things like, hey, can you get me some comments? And yeah, you can actually do that because YouTube allows us to by opening up their API and allowing us to access that data programmatically. The only thing I'm not sure about is how do I randomly grab one from a random set of videos? For that, I'm gonna see what Claude can do. And who knows, your comment might be there, so check it every day. Okay, there's the code. We gotta add our API keys, because you'll need an API key or a password to interact with the YouTube API. Thankfully, I already have one. It is free to get though, by the way, if you want to get your own. Okay, so it's actually doing it for each refresh. Hey Chuck. Hey. But I want to have the username there. Okay, let's try this out now. <laughs> yes! Yes, it's working! Okay, so it's working for just refreshing it, but I want to have just one per day. Refresh. It kept the same comment. Yes, it works! Great job. Comment of the day. Dot tech. Let's go that way. Let's preview our site. Perfect. Learning these 60 hacking commands could be incredibly useful for enhancing cybersecurity skills. I agree. Okay, Chuck asked me if I have any website ideas, and I do. For example, movies. What movie should I watch tonight? So I'll just add a website, we'll make it an empty HTML site, pick a movie online, perfect. And while that's building, let's create the HTML code. For now, I'll just use the ONDB, the Open Movie Database. And let's see, we're gonna need an API key. Let's get one of those. Now that I have my key, I'm gonna use Claude to create the HTML script and paste in our code. And we can go ahead and test this out. Pick a movie dot online. Okay, what movie am I watching tonight? Perfect. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Okay, now that I know what movie I'm gonna watch, let's figure out what I should eat for dinner. I'm very hungry. First, we need to find some kind of food API. So I'll go to apilist.fun and I'll just search food, food API. Perfect, we're set up with our API. So now let's go back to Claude and create a new script. Paste in the code. Okay, what should I eat tonight? Get random recipe. Oh, perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That looks incredible. My favorite holiday is Halloween, and I would like to know when it's Halloween. Not sure, I can look at my phone, do some mental math and go, hey, it's not Halloween. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> so stupid. Let's create a website that tells us if today is Halloween. Create a new website. Is it Halloween.tech? And while that's brewing, let's ask Claude to make our website for us. And by the way, if you hear any scratching on the walls, it's not a ghost. It's a guy named Chris installing my cabinets and my kitchen, my studio kitchen, my coffee shop. Anyways. 
I'm actually pretty excited to see this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it does. <gasps> I love it. That was really good. Let's add our file and preview our site. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Now I know, you're probably wondering, Chuck, why are you creating all these websites? What's the point? Because I can. It's fun. And also, I'm using Hostinger. You see, on their business plan, for just four bucks a month, I get up to 100 websites. 100. And even though this video is taking forever and absolutely killing me, I still haven't scratched the surface on the amount of websites I can make. Now, joking aside, you get a lot of features for four bucks a month. A free domain, you can build your website with WordPress, the Hostinger website builder with AI, or just code your own website and upload it. You'll see me do that many, many times in this video. I set up a store in seconds, and you can do it with WooCommerce as well. Backups, email, and the AI stuff is pretty fun. And things I didn't realize I had until I started doing this video were like unlimited databases, which is really cool. Cron jobs. You can integrate this with Git. You get a lot for four bucks. So I've got a challenge for you. What website idea, doesn't matter how dumb it is, are you sitting on? In this video, I created 24 of them. Some ideas are dumb, yeah, but some might be amazing. And in the process of building a website like this, you might actually find some really great ideas. Sometimes just by the act of doing and creating, you find your inspiration. So go create some right now. Check out the link below, hostinger.com forward slash network chuck 10. You're already getting a crazy deal and with the code network chuck, you'll get an extra 10% off. So go build you a website and show it to me. Tag me on Twitter, comment on YouTube. I'm not sure how YouTube comments handles websites, URLs, I don't know. Just get it to me somehow. And thanks again to hostinger for sponsoring this video. Now let's keep making websites. I love bidets and I feel like enough people don't know about them. Let's get the word out. We'll do the website builder now. That should be good, let's create. By the way, I'm serious, you need a bidet. Visit this website, you'll be convinced, trust me. I have one on every toilet in my house and my business. <laughs> Discover the bidet love. Okay. Not very bidet E. Not very bidet E. Let's change that. Replace this picture. Let's get a domain. Why I love bidets.com. And go live. This is so dumb, but I do believe in this. Now there's a website that I used to use all the time that's not up anymore. It was called sanger.dk. Now if we go to the website right now, we'll just see nothing. But if we go to the Wayback Machine, we can see what this website used to look like. <laughs> Here it is, okay. It's just this looping video. Looks like he's stuck inside the little monitor screen. I'm gonna recreate this site. Okay, so for the domain, how about Pug stuck. Awesome, website's up and running. Let's go to the file manager and let's go to Claude to create our HTML. Perfect, let's copy those contents. Now, of course, under the source down here, we're just gonna say slash pugstuck.mp4. So let's save that and let's upload our pugstuck video and that should be it. Let's go ahead and try it. Boom, we have it up and running, nice. Okay, this one's pretty dumb. I wanna create a t-shirt, make a website, create a store, and only sell 24 of those t-shirts, and that's it. Let's design the t-shirt first. I'm not gonna correct any of this. This is a one-shot thing. No erasing. <laughs> What's wrong with my body? Okay, let's just go with it. And a coffee mug. I'm gonna get rich. Actually, I'm gonna sell these for cost. I'm not gonna make any money off this. It's just for the fun. Now, what should I do? I could do WordPress and do WooCommerce, open source, awesome, but it takes longer. Hosting your website builder probably will be quicker. And I'm running out of time for this video. Oh my gosh. Let's start creating. Online store, done. Let's set up payment. It's actually really easy. I'll connect Stripe and PayPal later. I don't want you to see stuff. I'll connect a domain. <laughs> Another domain. Only24shirts.com. .tech. Cheaper. Got it. I'm serious. 24 available. If you want one, come get one. After they're out of stock, they're done. I'm not doing any more. Now, Network Truck Studio, we're just like anyone else. We gotta go to the grocery store every week and pick up some important items. Why don't we create a shopping list website? And we're gonna need to find a really good template for this. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, great. Let's get a new image in here. Okay, first of all, we gotta get our Pepsi. Probably paper towels. Oh, 3D printer filament. Even Network Chuck has to order coffee sometimes. For the coffee, <laughs> do I even need to say it? Networkchuck.coffee. Dude, we're gonna get shopping done so much faster now. You know what? You probably shouldn't have sent that message. You ever had that happen? You're responding to a text, you're kinda angry, you're kinda heated. I mean, erupt. What I like to do is type out my message when I'm really angry, really upset, and then never send it. I want a website for that. The title of the site should be, You Shouldn't Send This, A Venting Solution. All right, let's try it out. Ryan Reynolds, I really hate your face. Let's make the website. You shouldn't send this dot tech. And add one file. Let's test it out. Oh, perfect. Now, just so you know, I'm not collecting anything, so if you wanna try this, go for it. This one's kinda crazy, and I've always wanted to do this. On this site, I'm creating will be a timer. 
Once that timer is done, boom, what's gonna pop up is a gift card code to Amazon for 500 bucks. We'll have it end at 1.13, so 13.13. 13th, 13. Friday the 13th, are you kidding me? That's awesome, okay. Well, I'm not sure, because I'm not a programmer, how to hide the code in the code <laughs> when you do an inspection of the code. I guess you, just, yeah, you simply encrypt, encrypt it, right? But see, I'm worried about that because it seems like it should be my secret key, right? So how does it work? I go to crypto.js, use the AES encryption ex example to encrypt your desired code with key, my secret key. But then wouldn't that key be displayed? Okay, so we gotta improve the security. Because if you, if you knew the encryption, you knew the key, the key's right there in the code. <laughs> he said, I've significantly improved the security of the countdown website. Time-based encryption key. Ah, <gasps> interesting. Okay, I hope this works. The secret split into multiple pieces, each encrypted separately. So obviously I won't show you the encrypted code, but let's go make the website. Secretprize.tech. We'll finish registration, I'll add my file, and then we have that secret website. And done, let's preview it. Yeah, that looks accurate. I wanna make a game, an HTML5 game. So one of our video editors, Mike, he recently got a new webcam and he sent me these two photos on Slack. I forgot how beautiful his eyes are. Yeah, so as soon as I saw this, I got a genius idea for a website. Basically, it's just a picture of Mike staring at you, but whenever you hit a key on your keyboard, he looks down. Mike game. Oh, this is funny. Mike game, I see you. As in, I see you. And here's our files right here. Okay, I honestly can't imagine this working first try, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Let's try it out. Perfect. Wow, the way he loaded in was so cursed. He's looking away too slowly. I want it to be pretty fast. So that's probably right here, 500 milliseconds. How about 100? Oh yeah, that is exactly what I want. And now I'll add in something new. I'll say add in a counter. Let's call it Mog Points. Woo! All right, now I can play this all freaking day. This is a pretty dumb idea. I want a website that will choose one of my videos on YouTube at random, download the transcript, analyze it with AI, and pull one amazing quote and display that. A Network Chuck quote of the day. I have no idea how to do this. I wanna try and make it right now. First, we'll try to figure out how to pull a random YouTube video. Okay, let's see how much it can do for me. I'm gonna try and do the whole thing all at once. Okay, after a lot of troubleshooting, all of this, dumb way to do it. <laughs> no! I thought a better way. First, I used YTDL to pull down some of my YouTube video transcripts. Then I pasted all those transcripts into an LLM and it found all my good quotes, which I then stored into a MySQL database, a website with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a PHP script to go find my quotes from that database. NetworkChuckQuote.com, perfect. Let's try using the NetworkChuck Cloud Browser, a fresh browser somewhere on the internet to see if it works. NetworkChuckQuote.com. Ah, it's working. All right, let's get a random quote. <laughs> Yeah! It's okay. <laughs> it's not perfect. But I love it. <laughs> My browser's kind of dumb. You know what I'm always forgetting? The wiring of an ethernet cable. I'll remember it for a while. I even painted my nails to help me remember it. it still goes away. And I always have to Google it. But I don't want to do that anymore. I want a website that's just for me. That'll show me exactly what I want to see. <laughs> Let's do this right now. Add a website. Basic website. Ethernet cable dot tech. That's available. Okay, awesome. Well, it's making my website. I'll have Claude. Make my website, paste it in there, save that, add our images, and let's test the site. Perfect, that's all I needed. Okay, this is a really strange idea. The world's largest cursor. We'll call it Big Ol' Cursor. And while that's building, let's go to ChatGPT and see if we can program this. All right, so we do have a Big Ol' Cursor. Um, I noticed my mouse isn't hidden, first of all. So it did do the registration point in the top left, except the triangle's just going straight up. So we need to fix that. I want it to be diagonal. Refresh. What? All right, let me read what the HTML says. So I see there's a transform to rotate it. I'm not actually sure if that does anything. Let's try uh, let's try hiding that and refreshing. Okay, so it is actually doing something, except I need it to rotate 180 degrees, not 45. 180, okay, perfect. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Now we do need it to be uh, invisible. Everything is working, I'm assuming. I don't actually have any buttons to click. Let's, uh, let's create a button. What should the button do? Oh, I have an idea. Oh yeah, that is so sweet. So we have a working game here. And just to spice it up a tiny bit more, we're gonna add a point system. Here we go. Okay, this looks sweet. So I click on the little circle and we get an extra point. Isn't that lovely? I love coffee. 
No surprise there. I drink it every day, but you know what I forget? How to make it. And what I mean is I forget the quantities. For Chemex, how much do I use? For a drip pot of coffee? Am I making a half batch or a full batch? Do I want one cup? Am I providing coffee for the entire team? So let's make a website. How to make your coffee dot tech. And while that's brewing, <laughs> see what I did there? Let's ask Claude to make our site. Let's see if he can do the whole thing. Do it, Claude. Copy that code, create a new file, and paste our code. Let's try a drip for seven people. Calculate. Mmm. Yep. My new favorite thing. Some of you may not know this, but I'm colorblind. Not dog colorblind. I can see colors. I just sometimes don't know what those colors are. I want a website that will tell me what colors are. Let's make that right now. Isn't Claude amazing? <laughs> this is so fun to do. <sighs> Let's try it. This is actually pretty cool. I love this. Let's grab the code and make a website. What color is this.io? Sounds pretty good. Um, that's expensive. I don't want that. <laughs> Let's do dot tech. Once again, I'll go to the file manager, upload my file, and go to what color is this dot tech. <laughs> that's so cool. John Hammond doesn't have red hair. Who would have thought? A website that tells us how many network check fans have visited. How many chuckers? So let's start building it in Claude. Okay, great, it just made us one little uh, PHP file we can use. And let's preview that website. Oh, look, I'm visitor number one, no way! Okay, let's uh, let's refresh. Oh, I'm visitor number two! This is great. Let's close it out, open it up again. I'm visitor number three! I wonder how high this number is gonna go after we post this video. Now, I don't wanna cause any internet drama, but this man right here, Ryan Reynolds, I kind of hate him. Probably because my wife likes him a lot. And I can't have the, let's create a Ryan Reynolds not fan website. I'm sure he's a nice guy in real life. No, probably not. That should do it. Let's create. <laughs> Why you should dislike Ryan Reynolds. Join our cause. Join our cause. Let's add some images here. Let's create an accurate story. Looks just like him. Nailed it. All right, that about covers it. I hate Ryan Reynolds.com. Ah, someone already has it. <laughs> Fighting the good fight. Dot tech, let's do it. I'm sure he's a good guy, but he has no business being that good looking. Okay, Chuck just slacked me this meme API. Okay, random meme scraped from Reddit. That sounds incredibly risky. <laughs> All right, we got some code. Let's go ahead and copy it and take it over to Hostinger. We'll go with the old trusty random meme.site. It's kind of crappy looking, but let's get a meme. Oh wow, it worked but let's see if I can make this look a little bit prettier and add the title of the post. Okay, it looks better. Let's get a meme. I'm going to refresh that. Bald Eagle thought to be hurt was really just too fat to fly, Missouri officials say. Let's move on. Pineapple on pizza, it's the best. Fight me, come at me, let's go. I'm gonna create a website to tell people how awesome it is in case they don't know. We'll go with this one. Got a baking feel to it, I like it. Pineappleonpizzarightnow.com, perfect. We're registering so many domains in this video, they're gonna think we're up to something. We are telling people about pineapple on pizza. Let's add some stuff here. I don't know why it wants us to have courses. Let's remove that. <laughs> pineapple on pizza courses. How to put pineapple on pizza. Step one, <laughs> put it on there. Done. Oh yeah, are you getting hungry? Oh, that looks good to me. Pineapple on pizza right now.com. Check it out. I'm gonna make a Koki fan website. So we've recently made a video about Koki, but there's like barely any information about him online. So I'm gonna change that. Let's make a website all about Koki. So let's add a website and we're gonna use Hostinger's AI website builder to make this super fast. And let's see if we're up and running. Oh yeah, explore Koki's alien adventure. So I'm definitely gonna need to change around some of these photos like I thought. All right, let's start with the Koki movie. And then obviously we need a few photos of Koki in here. Beautiful, man, he is photogenic. But I think this is gonna be pretty good. If you wanna learn more about Koki, go check out the finished website down below. Okay, we made it, website 24. <laughs> oh man, this video has been nuts. But for this one, we're gonna create the longest URL website. I think, has it already been done? Let's go find out. The wild story behind the longest website URL. Oh, it was a battle over years. Oh my gosh, how did they get it that long? So I don't know how they did this. Maybe I'll do a video on this later, but it doesn't work now because it's over 1800 characters and I bet some new laws or rules came into place. But how they do it is they first had to use subdomains. Notice all these separated by dots because there is a character limit for the second level domain. I believe the character limit for the second level domain is 63 characters. So to make your domain longer, you can simply add subdomains for a max limit right now of 253 characters. And this is including the periods that you'll use. So what's gonna be my URL? 
Well, you know what? You might already know it. I hid secret phrases on each website. When you combine the secret phrase of each of those websites separated by a period, you will find the world's longest URL according to Network Chuck at this time and space. And when you go there, that's where you'll see the world's longest URL websites and win this contest. The first three people to arrive will win a $500 Amazon gift card. The rest will leave something special for you so your labor is not in vain. That's 24 websites in 24 hours. This was a dumb idea and way too much work. I'll see you in the next one.